so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Whoa, check out where I am! The moon! Whoa! Ooh, what's that? I'm getting an alert on my watch. I'm a real astronaut in space! Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, hey, do you want to meet a real astronaut? Me too! Yeah! Woo! I know where to start. Come on! Whoa! Whoa! One giant leap for Blippi and two wiggly arms! for Blippi friends. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today I'm here at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Yeah, and I'm hanging out with my friend, Mr. Spaceman. How's it going? <laughs> He's feeling a little quiet today, but I am so excited because we get to learn about, drum roll please. <laughs> vehicles, yeah, all kinds of vehicles vehicles that take astronauts to space and around the moon. <laughs> on the moon, come on. <laughs> oh, look who it is. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Blippi, welcome to NASA. Oh, nice to meet you. What's your name? Lucian. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Lucian. Can you teach us a little bit about this vehicle? Absolutely. This is a space exploration vehicle. Whoa. It goes on the moon. Okay. And this is a prototype, and on the moon it will take two astronauts, Whoa. for up to two weeks and drive around the moon. Whoa, so you can drive around on the moon using the space exploration vehicle? Yes. Oh, it's kind of like a car, but it looks a little different. Whoa, look at these wheels. Yeah, Whoa. it's a wheel module that can spin in all directions Whoa. and then drive with a central shaft. Whoa. And then we supersized it and put it on this vehicle. Whoa, whoa, can I try Lucian? Sure. Whoa, yeah, look, it can drive every which way, front and back and side to side. Whoa, thanks, Lucian. Cool. Can we take a look inside? Absolutely. Let's go, come on. Whoa. So <laughs> I'll follow you, Lucian. It has six <laughs> wheel modules. And let me show you inside. I can't believe it. I get to go inside. Yeah. Oh, we're inside the space exploration vehicle. Whoa. Come on in. Oh, should I sit down over there? Yeah, come sit down. Oh, okay. You can take either Whoa. seat you'd like. Whoa. Check it out. Whoa, this is such a cool vehicle. There's so many bright lights and colorful buttons. Whoa. And instead of a steering wheel, it looks like there's some screens and uh, a joystick. Should we start driving? Sure. Let's do it. Woohoo! Yeah. There's your seat belt. Okay, and. Okay, great. You got the other side? Yeah, I think so. It's just like an oh. airline seat belt. <laughs> Here we go. Buckled oh. in. <laughs> All buckled in, ready to drive. So when you push the joystick, the vehicle's gonna go forward. Okay. The wheels you saw all were cattywant. <laughs> so not until they straighten up are we gonna give you forward motion. Okay, so, so when I push forward on the joystick, all those wheels will straighten up and we'll move right, forward. Just with one motion. Are okay. you ready? Yeah. It's time to drive this space exploration vehicle. Come on. Okay, here we go. I'm going to push forward on this joystick. Whoa. And the wheel straightened out and it's ready to go. Whoa. Check it out. I'm driving. Okay, and then we're going to turn to the left. So I need to rotate the joystick. Okay, here we go be a little bit like this. Whoa, yeah, this is awesome. Whoa, so how fast can this vehicle go? About 20 kilometers per hour. Whoa. Which is plenty fast when you're off-roading on the moon and Mars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're going over hills and rocks and all kinds of things. Pure twist to your left. Pure twist to the left. So all the wheels are facing the right direction. How about that? And then sideways this way? Sure. Okay, here we go. That's a great idea. Yeah. Oh, deja vu. <laughs> 
Here we go. We're going sideways. Whoa. Whoa. Let's go through a crater. Let's do it. Full steam ahead. Woohoo! Yeah. Whoa. Here we go. Here we go. First, we're going over the first part and then down the crater. driving the space exploration vehicle with me and letting me have a try too. <laughs> Thanks for driving. Woo! <laughs> See you later. We're gonna go find some more vehicles. Bye! Bye. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Hey! Oh, that was so much fun. Wait, what's that? You see something that can go to space? Wait, is it over here? Nope. <laughs> is it over there? I don't see anything. What's that? It's behind me. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's the Saturn V rocket. Yeah. Do you see how big it is? Whoa. Yeah, it's 363 feet tall. That's about 20 giraffes. <laughs> Whoa. And when a rocket like this was filled with fuel, it weighed 6.2 million pounds. That's like 200 excavators. Whoa! Did you see? It has all different types of parts. This front part here is the capsule where the astronauts would sit. <laughs> oh, let's go take a closer look. Come on! Whoa! Check it out! So cool and big. Yeah, this right here is the service module where they would store all kinds of things. Yeah, like a lunar rover or even moon rocks. Yeah, come on. Whoa, <laughs> this is such a cool rocket. Yeah, and the next parts of the rocket all have fuel. Yeah, stage three, two, and one. <laughs> Whoa, you see the inside of stage three? Let's go take a closer look. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, it's so big in here! Echo! 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 <laughs> wow. Yeah, stage three was really important because this would help get the astronauts to the moon. It had an engine and lots of fuel. <laughs> Ooh, let's go check out the rest of the rocket. Come on, woohoo! This part right here was stage two. That helped get the rocket out of Earth's atmosphere. Whoa, it's getting even bigger. I wonder how big stage one will be. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! And do you see what I see? It's stage one. <laughs> yeah! Stage one is so big, had lots of fuel, and help to get the rocket off the ground. Lift off, woohoo! Let's go check out the back, come on, woohoo! are the parts of the engine for stage one. Whoa. Do you see how big it is? Yeah. Well, when you see a rocket take off, lift off is really bright, really loud, and really hot <laughs> because of all of that burning fuel. And that helps the rocket go to space. Woohoo, Saturn V. Woohoo, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, check it out, it's a space rover, yeah! Whoa, huh. but I wonder what kind. Oh, hello there. Hi. I'm Blippi, what's your name? My name's Emily. Oh, hi Emily. Hi. Oh, Emily, do you work at NASA? Yeah, I do. Oh, cool, well, could you tell us about this rover here? Absolutely. What's its name? This is the Viper rover. 
Whoa, go Viper Rover. Yeah, that's a cool name. What does it do? Um, so Viper is set to launch the moon in search of volatile resources. Oh, whoa, what are those? Um, like water and ice. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it um, finds the water and ice. Exactly, and it'll essentially be the pioneer to bring us back to the moon so that when we have astronauts go back, they know where to look for water. Oh yeah, so when astronauts go where they conduct experiments, they'll know where to find the water, the ice, and the gas. Oh, cool. Whoa, well, this is a pretty cool rover. It's so colorful too. Uh, look at all the parts. There's a wheel, and it's the color white. Look. Oh, well, Emily, what's this? Oh, this is one of Viper's solar panels. Whoa, look at this solar panel. You know, I like this solar panel because it's one of my two favorite colors, blue. <laughs> and Emily, what's this part here? Uh, this is actually one of our science instruments. Whoa, it's like a tool. Whoa, oh, oh. very important. <laughs> oh, is this also a space tool too? Uh, yeah, essentially, it's one of our batteries. Whoa, wait a minute. So the solar panels get solar energy power Viper, mm -hmm. and all that energy is stored here? Correct, yes. Cool. Oh, well, is this the vehicle that will go to space? Will this actually go? That's a great question. Actually, this one is used by engineers here on Earth to build in preparation for their actual real rover. Whoa, yeah, this is a prototype or practice vehicle. Yeah, this is a practice that an engineer will build so they get better at building their real Viper. Yeah. Well, could we seal the actual Viper? Yes, actually, we're okay. building one right now. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Whoa, it looks so different. Mm -hmm. It's not as colorful, but it's so sparkly. <laughs> Hello, Viper. Wow. Oh, and are those people working on Viper? Yeah, those are engineers working in the clean room currently. Wow. Um, and as you can see, the rover is in a few different pieces, Whoa. but in the end, when the engineers are done, it'll all come together to form Viper. Yeah, and then it can drive around on the moon. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for teaching us, Emily. Absolutely, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> Bye. Wow, that was so much fun learning all about the Viper rover. Yeah. Oh, on its search for water, ice, and gas. Yeah. Oh, well, speaking of water and ice, and after all this learning, <laughs> I think I could use a drink of water. <laughs> Come on. Got you. <laughs> Good job, Viper. <laughs> Houston, we have the wiggles. <laughs> Check it out. I'm here at Mission Control at NASA. <laughs> Whoa, Mission Control is a really cool place where all of the people who work here on Earth can talk to the astronauts in space. Yes, they can communicate with headsets like this to all those astronauts that are working on experiments. Yeah, and staying at the International Space Station. Whoa, Whoa look at all the screens. Oh, hmm. There's a lot of numbers around here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need a little more practice and training before I can work at Mission Control. <laughs> oh, I know, I can communicate with Mika. <laughs> Mika, do you copy? I copy, Blippi. I'm all strapped in and ready for liftoff. Okay, launch is a go. Hey, will you count down with me? Okay, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Blast up! Whoa! See you soon! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this is so fun working here at Mission Control, <laughs> or at least pretending to. You know, it would be really cool to meet someone who actually works here. Whoa, wait! Look who it is! <laughs> it's Flight Director Rick Hendling! Hi, Rick! <laughs> Hi, Blippi, it's so nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you, too. Oh, I can't believe I'm talking to an actual flight director. <laughs> oh, and Rick, what exactly does a flight director do? So the flight director is in charge of the International Space Station. We keep the space station flying safely so the astronauts can do their experiments and then return home safely to their families when their mission is done. 
Whoa, and do you look over all the people that work here in Mission Control too? That's true. Whoa. We have We have specialists who know all about the space station. Whoa, well, what kinds of jobs do they have? We have people who are experts in computers. Oh. <laughs> experts in communications. Well, do you even have an expert in air conditioning? That's right, we need to make sure the space station is nice and comfy for the astronauts to do their experiments. Oh yeah, you don't want to be too sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, and what's this up here? So this is a map of the Earth that shows where the International Space Station is. We're flying over the northern part of America. Wow, look! Do you see that right there? Oh, it looks like the space station is floating along. Oh, but I bet it's going kind of fast, right? It goes super fast. It goes 17,500 miles per hour. <gasps> 17,500 miles per hour? Woo! <laughs> That's faster than an excavator. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, and Rick, are those astronauts? Those are real live astronauts. They're getting ready to return home the experiments that they've been working on so that the scientists on Earth can go and answer the hard questions they were asking. Wow, that is so cool. Yeah, being an astronaut is a very important job because not only do you have to be in space, but you're a scientist too. And whoa, huh, hello! <laughs> Hope you're having fun floating around. Whoa! Well, we'll let her get back to work. <laughs> well, Rick, thank you so much for teaching me all about being a flight director and for showing me Mission Control. <laughs> we were so happy to have you, Flippy. Thanks for coming. Bye, Rick. See you later. <laughs>
and learn about all kinds of vehicles that go to space, the moon, and maybe even Mars someday! Yeah! Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. See you on the moon. Woohoo! Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make